Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 8th GIMP tutorial. Now today, I'm going to be talking to you about some more tools in GIMP that I didn't get to before. So, um, here's one really helpful tip though. So let's say your um, so secondary and uh, primary colors are off and they're not uh, black and white by default. All you have to do is click this little icon down here, and it'll set it back to default instantly. So uh, that's really helpful and uh, here's the crop tool it's like the rectangular selection tool all you gotta do is click and drag and you can edit where you want to crop it and all that uh, boring stuff but anyway once you want to actually crop you either hit enter and it'll crop the image or you have to um, click inside the selection you made and then either of those methods will crop the image but if you uh, click outside of the selection, all it's going to do is it's going to delete the selection you made. So, um, as you can see, I have two layers here. So if I just want to crop a layer instead of the whole image, just check off current layer only. And when you crop, it'll just crop that layer. So, um, allow growing, what this does is as you can see when I try to crop it won't let me crop outside of the image but if I check allow growing it will let me crop outside of the image so if I actually crop the image what it's going to do is it's going to uh, have part of the image that was cropped but it's also going to have this transparent stuff which is where I selected outside of the image now since this transparent uh, area is outside of the image I actually can't edit it so I can edit so let's say I can draw on uh, on the image but if I try to go to the transparent area it won't let me so uh, control Z and uh, one second so expand from center what this does is uh, you know how with the rectangular select tool I would drag from corner to corner well what this does is it lets you drag from the center to a corner so it's kind of really um weird but uh if you don't want to drag from corner to corner this is just another way you can uh, select stuff and also you can fix an aspect ratio for uh, the crop area and also you can actually crop with the rectangular select tool so if I just click and drag I can crop the whole image by going to image and crop to selection or control Z if I um, want to just do the layer I can go to layer and crop to selection and it'll do the exact same thing that the crop tool would have done so um, I believe that's it for the crop tool now uh, I'm just gonna use the other image for this example <clears throat> so if I zoom in a bit right here should be good so anyway as you can see this is really pixelated but this is the color picker tool that I'm gonna be showing you now when I click on a pixel it's going to set the primary color to the pixel I clicked on so if I click here it's gonna set it to that exact color or if I click here uh, anywhere else but you can also uh, check off this set background color and when you click instead of setting the primary color to that color it's going to set the secondary color to the pixel you clicked on so uh, so that might be useful for something and what sample average does is it'll take every pixel in a certain radius and then it'll uh, it'll ha make an average of all of the uh, values and then it'll set the primary color or you know the secondary color if you click that to the average of the pixels so uh, if I uh, have a two pixel radius what it's going to do is it'll basically just set it to black I mean because you know it's right there but if I set it to like uh, 97 what it's going to do is as you can see it um it looks like I am um, it looks like 
a pixel right here or something instead of the black even though I clicked on the black because the average of all of the pixels in a 97 pixel radius actually um it isn't black so there's more of uh, these color pixels the tan pixels than there are the black pixels so um there that's what sample average does and let me see there is one more tool I wanted to talk about fit image in window okay so this is the select by color tool now what the select by color tool does it'll do the exact same thing as the fuzzy select tool right here but if I select this red stripe on the carpet with the fuzzy select tool it's only gonna select that stripe now let's say I wanted to go and select all of the other red stripes too what I would have to do is I would have to go to add to the current selection and then I would have to click each and every one and it would be very time consuming so this is where the select by color tool comes in handy uh, you have a threshold anti-aliasing feather touches and um, I don't know allow comp I don't know why you'd want to select transparent regions but anyway the point is it's going to do the exact same thing as the fuzzy select tool but it'll go throughout the whole image and find uh, shades of the pixel I clicked on instead of uh, having to have it be continuous and connected to the one I clicked on so uh, let me see there is oh yeah so the last thing I want to talk about is um, what sample merged means what sample merged in the uh, color select by color tool what this is going to do if I click on it so if I click right here it's going to go through every visible layer in the image and it's going to um, it's going to select the color I clicked on now if I don't have sample merged selected it's just going to um, select in this layer so um, one second I believe oh yeah and if you hover over it it's going to say it's going to select a certain color on all visible layers this does not mean layer visibility right here it means if you can actually see it in the image like with your own peepers kind of vision um, not just if it's visible so you actually have to be able to see the layer for it to be able to select it if you have sample merged on so that is what um, sample merge does and um, I believe that's it for this tutorial uh, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one